Jake from Five Paranormal, and today I'm here at the New Market Battlefield, probably my favorite Civil War battlefield to visit. And I'm here to take a picture. I've got my 35 millimeter camera and the digital camera you see here. And I'm going to be taking some photos, some cool video, and I might do a little investigating. We'll see how crowded it is on the battlefield. I've actually never investigated here, but I have heard stories that it's one of the most haunted battlefields in Virginia. And I've talked to some people who were here not terribly long ago in the square box, and they said it was insanely active. So. The goal today is one, to make contact. The main goal that I really want to have is to make contact with the people. I'm sitting right now is close to the Bushong house. Now, during the battle, the cadets were not supposed to be deployed. They were supposed to be held in reserve because most of them were between 15 years old and like 17 years old. I think there was even a 14 year old that fought during the battle. But halfway through, a gap opened up in the Confederate line about 50 yards, actually about 100 yards up that way. So Confederate General John C. Breckinridge had no choice. He had to put the boys in. So they advanced across this field, actually, this field behind me, and then back over my shoulder, they actually split in two. The main body went directly ahead of me towards where you see those trees, a little orchard. The other, probably quarter of the numbers, went to the other side of the Bushong house. Now here in a little bit, we're gonna get to the spot where they took their first casualties, but it's, it's truly amazing. You can really feel the energy here, just, you know, sitting on the battlefield. And, you know, there's something that I think they call it earthing, where you, you know, you make contact with the earth to try and feel the energies, feel the kind of the vibe of it. And this is one of those places where someone who's not psychic like me can really feel it. And especially since, you know, I know the story of this battle like the back of my hand, and it's, it's always a great time being here in New Market. And to have a very first time investigating, well, to say I'm excited is an understatement. So here is a dilemma. There is, let me actually turn around, this little creepy hole that goes under the interstate and it leads to another part of the battlefield. I've never seen this open before. So I guess I'm going in. I'm just going to say this is insanely creepy. Right now I am under Interstate 81. <laughs> So weird. So this leads to the 54th Pennsylvania Monument, and I think that's actually close to where the original cemetery was. So situation update, I made it through the tunnel alive, and there's this beautiful view just looking over the Shenandoah Valley. Towards the end of this field, it's really hard to see, is the 54th Monument, and I think that's where the cemetery is. Now, where I'm at right now is technically a part of the battlefield. I think this is close to where the right flanks would have been fighting and where the cavalry engagement would have taken place. So I might do a spear box session somewhere down in that field. You know, I've been to Newmarket, this is my fourth or fifth time here. I've never been over here before. I didn't know this walking trail was over here. and. You know, I'm eager to explore it and just, you know, those views are amazing. I cannot get over that. So I'm setting up the spirit box right here in this little mini valley is what we're going to call it because I'm not good with technical terms. This is, like I said, technically on the battlefield. Uh, the 54th monument is up in that direction somewhere-ish. And I've still got a long walk ahead of me. I should have stretched before I came here. But on another subject, this place, like I said, is supposed to be really active. I don't know if anyone's ever investigated this part of it. So I'm excited. First spear box session, new market battlefield. Let's see what happens. All right.
there were a few really cool voices there. There was one when I asked if you were a federal soldier. I thought I heard something say yeah. So I'm gonna continue walking. Lord knows I haven't done enough at that today and we'll see what happens. You know, when you think of stereotypical battlefields, you know, the way they look, this is the exact terrain that I picked. You've got the nice little rolling hills, short grass, beautiful views, and of course you've got sparse trees. Now, I'm gonna be walking backwards and try not to trip and fall like I did in Maywan years ago on train tracks with a train about half a mile away. That was fun. So this is still really cool. Um, this is the 54th Pennsylvania Monument, where I'm at now. It's got the cool dude on top. Soldier is what they're called. So, I'm here hanging out close to where the 54th and the Confederate lines actually clashed. According to the thing, they clashed actually a little further that way. But I thought there were, this is where the cemetery was. Turns out it wasn't, which, you know, kind of a bummer. But still, it's really cool. This is almost exactly where they clashed. Now, I did plan on doing a spirit box session here, but unfortunately, there's, I think it's Route 11 is here, and it's insanely loud. So it would probably drown out any spirit box that I could do, unfortunately. So I think I'm gonna head back to the main part of the battlefield, and I'll just focus on that. So yeah, I've got a short walk back to the battlefield. Okay, no lie. I'm recording B-roll and I just heard someone walk behind me. Whoever's behind me, can you make a sound again? Okay, back to B-roll. This orchard behind me is where the VMI cadets took their very first casualties. More than likely, it was artillery fire, shrapnel that came through, but they were running to meet the Confederate line up at the rail fence up here. And as they were charging through here, the ones that were in this little orchard, almost exactly where I am, is where they would have fallen, the very first casualties for the Corps cadets during the battle. Now, most of the battle took place a little north of the Bushong house, which here's the Bushong house but there were still people being killed even back here with artillery fire stray muskets and sharpshooters so there were people dropping literally everywhere here so where i have my equipment right now is in the orchard and like i said previously this is where the cadets took their first casualties and they actually would have charged through here on their way to the rail fence that you can kind of sort of see up there. But this is where their casualties would have been. This is where they would have had their first taste of action and blood. So naturally, this is where I have the spirit box. And out of all the spirit box sessions, this one and the one I'm about to do in the Field of Lost Shoes are the two I'm most excited for. So I'm really, really hoping I can make contact with the cadets or anyone in general, honestly. So I was doing the spirit box session, had to stop it abruptly after I got two cool responses because some people were walking through and they thought what I was doing was really cool, which is nice. I like talking to people about this stuff, but I was really feeling it that session. And I did turn spirit box on for a little bit more, didn't get anything. So, you know, part of me was wondering if that was like a distraction from the spirits, I don't know. But I'm gonna try again in the orchard here in just a second. 
Oh, sorry about that delay. There's so many soldiers here. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the VMI Cadet. Are they here? Yeah, I'm gonna go to the VMI Cadet. Are they here? Yeah, I'm gonna go to the VMI Cadet. Are they here? Yeah, I'm gonna go to the VMI Cadet. If there are any VMI cadets here who fought during the battle in Newmarket, can they please say hello? Did it just say hello? I heard a young male voice. I just heard a young male voice say hello. Oh, that's too cool. Sorry, I got excited there. The word is just said, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. What's your name, sir? I know there was Cadet Jefferson died a little after the battle. Cadet McDowell. is that was pretty freaking cool I think I might have made contact with the VMI cadets I haven't got confirmation on that and I'm really hoping up here I can but part of me wants to get really really excited about that So this is it. This is the Field of Lost Shoes. Where I'm sitting right now is exactly where the VMI cadets were positioned. And there would have been soldiers positioned all the way up as far as the eye can see up there and about probably half a mile down that way. And the cadets were here. They took severe casualties and then they ended up jumping over this fence here and charging across this field. And because it was muddy and rainy, they lost their shoes, which is why they call it the Field of Lost Shoes. And right up there, it's really tough to see, there is an artillery piece by that tree. And they charged across the field, took heavy canister shot and musket fire, but they were able to take the guns. So if my theory is correct, if there's any place where I'm gonna make contact with VMI cadets, it'll be here. <laughs> A lot of very important stuff historically happening, you know, like I said, the cadets, about 257, I think is how many were here, were posted right here, taking casualties. The Confederate line extended pretty much to the top of that ridge and way over that way. And then eventually they charged across this, across this field. So in theory, if I'm gonna confirm that I spoke to any VMI cadets, I have the best chance to make contact here and then in that field, the field of lost shoes. And I plan on doing a session at the white pole out there so fingers crossed i'm really excited to see what i get all right hello are there any soldiers here with me today my name is jay i'm from virginia i went to military school and i'm I think I just talked with someone who was with the VMI Cadet. 
Are there any cadets still here? <laughs> no voice to them are No voice just said hi, no freaking what. Whoever just said hi, thank you. How are you doing today? Were you scared? Yep. Well, if you don't mind it. Oh, that was a cool one. So here's a question. I heard that there might still be bodies buried on the battlefield. Is that true, yes or no? Whoever just spoke, thank you. Can you say your name, please? What I'm actually going to do uh, is take my equipment. I'm going to move into the field. I'm going to charge the guns with you all. Who's going to join me? the rifle? I thought I heard a younger male voice say the rifle. Are they firing at us? We'll be back. Where are you all going? And by the way, I am scanning at 100 milliseconds for those of you who might ask that, you know, I'm getting a lot of radio. No, that's 100 milliseconds fast as the spear box goes. Alright, so we're a little bit into the field here. Good. Can I hear a battle cry? We gotta scare the enemy, don't we? So I'm gonna run up this hill, probably regret it. Are any cadets gonna join me? Sound off. If you if you will join me, say yes. How many federal soldiers are up there? Address this, but I'm gonna start jogging up the ridge. What the heck was that? Oh, that was weird. Get out. Why is it too dangerous to be doing this? Far behind me. Did you all have bayonet sticks? This guy looks so stupid to people watching me from the internet. How many casualties do we take running up to the hill? Five? Where are the cadet callers? Where's the BMI callers at? We need to post them here. So we made it to the guns. Okay, I'm gonna be completely honest. I probably look like the biggest idiot in the world charging across that field 
with all this equipment, my bag and stuff. And according to these people, probably talking to thin air. So turn off spirit box, forgot to do that. So yeah, that was fun. I do think that I got some really cool responses and there for a little while, I couldn't really understand what was being said because I was running, you know, I could hear the wind real loud in my ear. I thought I heard what would have been, you know, like, like sounds of battle. You know, I thought I heard some yelling. I don't think I heard gunfire, but there was one point over the spear box, it either sounded like garbled radio or it just sounded like chaos. And I'm gonna have to, you know, go back and look at that. But it sounded really freaking cool. You know, I do think the idea of kind of reenacting the charge, I do think that helped a lot. Um, I would love to, you know, have a crew with me where other people could grab stuff. I could just have the spear box recorder and do all that. Because I have noticed sometimes when you have a camera like this recording a spirit box session, you don't get as many responses or as much activity versus when you just have the voice recorder. I've always been kind of curious as to why that is. But this was a fun little session too, especially here at this cannon. Very picturesque cannon. I like it. But I'm going to head up to the other cannons up there. And real quick, this is about where the Union Army would have formed. Um, this is the cannon piece, you know, that the cadets would have taken. There would have been brutal hand-to-hand -hand combat in this area. So I'm hoping up there I can do one grand final spirit box session. Um, I haven't really tried to make any contact with, you know, the Union or Federal soldiers. I'm going to try that up here. Um, I should have had better luck up there. But, yeah, that was a lot of fun. I am definitely out of shape, though. All right, so for probably the last spear box session of this whole investigation, which there are some really cool views here, I'm gonna do a spear box session here at these artillery pieces, which is where Union artillery would have been during the battle. And this is also about the area that uh, Union General Franz Siegel would have been hanging out, him and his staff. And then also the Union line was posted about this area, maybe a little bit up front. Um, but this area is said to have a lot of shadow figures, people hear voices, all that fun stuff. And there's just some truly cinematic scenes here. I love this. Um, but I've gotten some great stuff here so far. The only thing that sucks about this, I do have to be careful because I don't want to disturb people. And there is a very busy walking path right here. So I'm going to keep an eye out for that. Hopefully I don't have to cut the session short. Hello, are there any soldiers here with me today? This is where the federal artillery would have been. Are there any federal soldiers up here with me? Alright, well, if no one wants to talk, I'm going to leave you. Can you say goodbye? Well, I didn't really get anything there, and like I said, I'm not really feeling it. So, I think that is going to be the last spirit box session that I do. This was a lot of fun. I might try to do one more as I'm hiking back, but we'll, we'll see how many people are up here. But man, this is, it is so great being back here at the VMI Museum, because this is actually privately owned, I believe. But man, it, it's so great to be here. And hopefully I got some really cool stuff. So another reason the new market battlefield is one of my favorites is because of this. Check out that view. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, you know, you've got an entire view of the valley. If you listen real close, you can hear the water below from the river. I don't remember which river it is. I'm not very up on my rivers like I used to be, but man, just look at that. I mean, how many paranormal places have a view like this? You know, so think about it like this. It's insanely active. I've gotten a lot more evidence so far than I thought I would, which saying something because I thought I would get some, but you've gotten a lot of evidence, fun evidence, good hiking, great views, and it's very peaceful. I mean, I've seen only one person today. That was it. Um, and that was the person, of course, who stopped me earlier. But man, this is just, it's scenic. You can't ask for a better place to film or investigate.
So at the end of the day, this was a great trip to the New Market Battlefield. I had a great time. And even if I go back and look at everything and it was all radio, I literally got nothing. I still had a blast coming out here. I still had a blast taking pictures, filming. You know, that was that was the main reason for coming out here. You know, the paranormal stuff is kind of secondary, but I'm very glad I brought my equipment. But from Fife Paranormal, I'm Jake. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Comment, you know, what you thought you heard at different points. Be sure to leave the time set so I'll go back and look at it. And then comment your thoughts about, you know, the photos, the video, the battlefield, the spirits, all that fun stuff. Um, like I said, leave a like, subscribe for more. We post weekly. And I hope you all have a great day. I'm going to enjoy this view for a little longer.